Hello, nice to see you again. I'm Chris. In this video series, I will show you how to use Vasto CMMT SD series to uh, how to commissioning with this server drive, how to uh, integrate this server system in some PLC brand like uh, Backoff, Trinket, uh, Omron, or Cisco, etc. I really would like to thank Vasto Japan that give me the chance to let me use it they uh, brought this server drive to me, then I have the chance to try they have a great servo system. Okay, I know don't want to spend you so much time and let's start. So in here is the camera and uh, you see this is my server drive. It is a uh, same empty ST series. As really the um the model number is CMMT ST C eight one C E C S zero. E C is mean is a cat. They have a other model that can make couples of protocol like both in that is an IP, is a cat and Molobus TCP in one drive. But in this case, I'm using the own the drive that with is a cat interface also. So in here, there's a port. There's the connecting a LAN cable. This this is a commissioning port. This allow you to connect your drive to your PC and with Vasto's commissioning software to make the parameters to make your server project. And the second one, it is using a yellow label in here. It is a STO signal terminal. It is a safety torque of signal. This means that you, have, you can stop your server in a safe condition or something. And you did these two terminal is connecting to the servo motor. Okay, so before we play with this servo, this Vesto server drive, the first thing you need to download their software. So uh, let me go to Chrome and go to Google. Okay, Google, Google, and then uh, I don't buy. And then uh, search Festo Automation Suites. So um, in there is a software software called. Festo Automation Suite. This is a a free software to allow you to programming the PLC drive and etc. system, and this is free, no need to pay. This is great. You can try the device in any time without pay. So the slowdown, they have a uh, button called Try it Now for free. Just click it, and uh, you can just download the software and then the install to your PC. So uh, because I already installed the software in my PC, I'll just start them here. I will search Vesto Automation Suit and then start it. Because I installed install it in a couple days before, so it's the newest version. So now you start your automation suit. The first thing you need to install the device plugins for CMMT SD drive. It's very easy. Let's go to install device plugins. And because I already commissioned with my drive my server drive, so sure I install the plugins. But if you didn't, you just for example click here. For example, I would like to for example I would like to install the CPX plugin. I just click here and then press the install button. Then the Festo automation suite will automatically download the plugin from the server and automatically install in your computer. So now it's okay. I install the CMMT ST plugin in my PC. I can start my new project. So go back to here, automation suite, and then click the new project button. And I create a new project in here. One time, if you successfully to install the plugin in the right hand side of the, the device catalog, you will see some device time here. For example, it's a cat slave, it's a, it's a net IP device, and booking net device. In this case, what I'm using is it's a cat slave. So I'm just it's a cat slave. Then uh, now they have two models for let me to choose. My model, the models I'm using here is CMMT stc 81 c ecs 0 So as we say, easy is me, it's a cat. So click it. Great, a device is insert in your project. So our next step is to double click this project, uh, this device. Then uh, automation suit will automatically insert all the things for us. 
so uh, here is our conversion screen the first thing we need to do is to start a first startup in here so let's click this is a few clicks so we don't need to worry about so much let's click here and uh, the first one the server drive that is the drive they insert in the previous step and then we need to insert the motor in here so the plus the click bot the plus bottom here and you can install you can just search the model number the order order number or the model number to search the motor that you installed to your server drive and uh, sorry that because I think the, because of the camera that I think it's the label in here in here something here so um, I just click here and go in the search page search, search view to enter your order number so my motor is this one let's click apply and then we did access actually because I don't insert access I just choose something and apply great okay our completion is finished the first one and you can pass the next button and um, here is you can see the activation can be from IO and filters or just filter something so and the main voltage okay so for the next default is okay for me and then you need to enter some application data for example your access max and uh, the directions for example now you can invert your locations by just a check button and you can also enter the cable size um, the cable the how long of your cable something and after that yes I do have a, a hardware switch in here if a hardware limits to something and after that we need to we can convert the home method you can choose which home method that you want to like would like to use and finally then to set up your uh, hardware limit and then after you convert all the things you can just click finish great now your project is finished now we can try to connect our from to our server drive from the automation suite so what can we do the first thing in here you see a patch there's the IP address in here we can just click here then the software will automatically search all the device all the server the festival products in our network as you see that here that is a that is my drive with IP address 192.168.0.8 I what I need to do is just click here and then click apply great and then click connect it will automatically load all the parameters great so here is a parameter synchronization screen because the parameters between my offline project and the online project is not the same so you have two options the first one is the right device it means that write all the parameters from your offline project to the server drive or read from the device this means that read all the data from your server drive and overwrite to your offline project and I choose the read from the device now all the parameters transmit the project great now you see um, the project uh, the parameters always upload and here is a small green check mark it means the server drive is normal without any error and now it's connect so now I would like to show you how to control the drive with the automation source software let me do config my screen then it be easy to see okay okay so now here's the drive okay and here is my software so how can we control the drive we can go to the control tab and here is the panel for us to do all the stuff from automation suit but before that we need to take the control okay and here is a button called plug in plc control when you click it if you have a warning message called master control application that warning me taking over control with the plugin will prevent maybe let the PLC system stop because now we are trying to use our automation suits as the master system to control the drive when you're connecting 
to your PLC, then it makes sense, right? If every time your drive is controlled by your PLC, but now you need to commissioning, so you need to use the automation shield to control your, your drive. Press OK. Now and then you can press the enable button to servo to turn on your servo motor. Great, now the servo motor is turning on. The first thing you need to do is do the homing. Very easy, here's the homing button, so click it. Then homing is okay. The first one I'll show you how to make the joke operations. So here's a plus and minus button. So what we need to do is just plus it. Then you can see the motor is uh, running in these directions and the positive directions or negative directions. Okay, so for example, I go here. Oh, here's error. But you don't know why, right? So there is a function called dynam dynamics. Then you open it. You show the what kind of error that is happened in your system. If, for example, here you stop catalog one that with negative software limit position. Oops. Then you you know that the server motor is in error because because your motor is reached the software limit software limit positions. And over here you say red. LED refreshing, right? This means your server will have some, some problem. What we need to do is just ignore the all to reset the error and turn the power again. Great. I think that's okay. And uh, what we need to do now, then go control panel first again and then press button and then ignore it again. Okay, great. Now we see no error anymore. Then uh, I'll show you other functions is single step. Single step is just like relative uh, positioning. For example, here I set it as 5 mm. So one every time when I press the plus button, then the motor will go to the positive directions, 5 mm. And when I press the minus button, so every every time then I press the minus button, minus button, the server drive will rotate to the negative directions in 5 mm. So let's start, try it. Press it. Press it. Okay, you see now run that plus one time, we press 5 mm, and then same as negative. Okay. So finally, here is a function also called target position. So is it absolute positioning? Uh, for example, here insert a uh, 19 mm. Then I press the execute button. Then you done the absolute positioning. So uh, for example, I little bit slow here. Go back to zero mm. And uh, here is the stop movement button. That means if when you executing a motion task and you want to stop it, then you can press this button. I'll show you now. When I execute the absolute positioning task, then when I press the stop movement, then you see the motor stop. Not easy, not big deal, right? Then uh, finally, I'll show you some how to see the parameters that you are setting in your drive. Here is the actual position. You click it. Then you see some so many parameters in here. For example, um, your access configurations, what is your negative limit and position, uh, positive limit, and for example, your uh, uh, speed limit and your uh, homing position. Something you can set so many things here also. And I think I will not, I will not explain all this item here. Then you can check the menu. By yourself, I think it's better. So, yes, I think this video in here is enough. And in this video, I show you how to use the automation suit to create a new project for the CMMD SD series servo and how to move it. Now, to move it out in job operations, in single step, or in target position operations. Okay, I hope you can see next video. I will try my best to. Uh, connect to some PLC in next video and see you next time. Bye bye.